My name is Liv McNeil. I play Nitra in Women Talking. My name is Kate Hallett, and I play Ocha in Women Talking. My name is Michelle McLeod, and I play Mayal in Women Talking. <laughs> Mayel is kind of, she's one of the younger characters, but she's in between, I guess, uh, being a child and being um, uh, a matriarch of the family because you become a woman pretty quick in this kind of communi community um, in the sense of your responsibilities. Um, and I think she's trying to find her voice. She's not quite sure whether she should be angry or empathetic or what have you, so she carries these emotions in her that she doesn't know how to express, and that's where you get the vices and the anxiety and things like that. So she's kind of in the limbo of uh, finding her voice and, and building the confidence she needs to deal with her trauma and also learning the words she needs to learn in order to process the trauma. So um, she's kind of on this journey, and I think the... Uh, decision we make at the end is kind of her. Ocha is a very naturally curious um, character. Um, she's kind of right on the age of being kind of put into marriage and I think that that presents a lot of or like it just elicits a lot of fear in her and it just this like desperate need to get out and and see something before she's trapped with someone that you know she doesn't necessarily love or want to be with at all. And I think that she's very clear in what she wants and what she knows that she needs. And I don't think her opinions can be super nuanced just because she's so young, but I think she's just very set on what she wants to do. Nycha is uh, on the sidelines for most of the time. She's an observer. Um, she's a listener and a learner. Uh, and she's kind of has herself in her drawings for the most part. She also has her best friend, but for the most part, she does just have herself in her drawings and she lost her mother. And I think because of everything, she kind of regresses and she has lost her innocence, lost her childhood, and she uses her drawings as a way to process her environment and to understand what's going on around her and to learn. A, a, a great summary of the film is um, the conversation women have for the first time without the men being there as uh, they take the um, attackers into the town. They're actively trying to free them with the resources that they have, and this is the first time the women are alone to talk, and what that opens up for them are many doors. They're now thinking for the first time. They're doing a, a democratic vote for the first time, which they've never experienced, but they need to be able to, to collectively decide what they're going to do, because it's not only for the safety of their colony, which is like, you know, everyone kind of sticks together and supports themselves, but now they're having to deal with the safety of the colony, but more specifically the women. And the way that the tier works in this type of environment is God is first, men is second, women third. So if you are not following the rules of one and two, you don't really have a say. So this is the first time they've ever shared their thoughts, explored, uh, learned, experienced, and ultimately that helps them come to the decision to leave again before the men get back. So it's very time, uh, they're in a, a time crunch too. So everything has to be well thought out, but also um, the pace is very quick because um, you have to be able to sort through all of the layers in such a limited time. So that's what the story is about. It's a fictional tale based on real life events. I'm super passionate about uh, the way that Sarah has taken her life experience and has been able to talk about it honestly and openly mm -hmm. and and she has the um, power to kind of expose these truths that a lot of people don't talk about um, and she was able to take her experience and bring it into the film but you know what she's gone through a lot she's gone through a lot of things and it's just wonderful to see someone who's just so mindful and so caring and so supportive, but she is so daring and so courageous and so strong, and she is truly the backbone of this movie, and um, I, I truly admire that she's brought her experience to the table.